Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about the new item system, more specifically about coolers and basically a new addition to Star Citizen and how they work. How do cooler? Um, so what do coolers do? Coolers remove heat from your ship, weapons and systems, and heat affects your ship in two major ways. Overheating. Weapons and systems hold heat and can overheat. Overheating occurs when a weapon or system reaches their heat capacity and uh, is unable to reduce the heat filled up fast enough. This can then basically disable the item until some of that heat can be removed. In the case of weapons, your weapons will stop functioning once they fully overheat. IR signature. Your infrared signature is basically your heat footprint for scanners, radars and missiles to track you assuming they are looking for IR. The higher your IR signature the more obvious you are basically to heat sensors. Coolers help remove that heat. No coolers means no heat removal. You need coolers equipped. You need them equipped. <laughs> but there are many many choices. So what do the stats mean? What do each of the coolers have that makes them unique um, and who can use them? So they each have their own unique size, uh, light or small, which is basically size one, medium, which is size two, large, which is size three, and capital is size four. They have their own vital statistics. Cooling per second, this is a major one. This is the amount of heat that can be removed by the cooler per second. Power cost per second. This is the amount of power plant power that is used or consumed per second when that system is activated. Now, there's some efficiency to, to think about here. Some coolers are going to be much more efficient compared to others in their power to heat removal ratio. So you're going to get ones that are, don't take particularly much power to use, but they're not going to remove much heat. Or you might get them so that they use quite a bit of power, but they remove so much heat that they become really efficient. Coolers cost power to use. This is important for your ship that, that requires maybe more power than your power plant has to offer causing systems to not work as intended sluggish movement ineffective cooling uh, slow weapon charge times and in worst cases systems not being able to be used briefly or possibly longer so keep in mind that coolers use power and if you don't have enough power in your ship and you m mismanage your power you're going to have a bad time there is another major stat that is um, hidden effectively. It's not on the hollow table at the moment, but it is in the XML documents. And that's the IR multiplier. So basically here, some coolers are better at masking your IR signature while they're in use compared to others. So basically the lower your IR multiplier here, the better. This reduces your IR signature. Um, some coolers may be really, really efficient at reducing the amount of heat and being efficient with power, but they might have a really, really bad IR signature while you're using them, basically. It's all a balancing act. Some coolers may appear to be able to deal with a lot of cooling, but how efficient are they for power consumption? They might generate a lot of IR signature themselves while in use. An example here is the heat safe coolers versus the EcoFlow coolers. They're both light or size one. The EcoFlow coolers can handle a lot of heat per second, 715 in fact, but consume a lot more power per second, 55 power per second, than that of the heat safe. But they have an IR multiplier, those EcoFlows, of 1.4, so it produces a lot of extra IR signature while in use. The heat safe uses less power, 40 per second, and doesn't run the IR signature nearly as hot. In fact, it has a multiplier of 0.6, meaning that it should be quite invisible effectively compared to other coolers on the market, but can't handle as much heat per second, only 400. And its heat reduction to power ratio used uh, is much worse than the EcoFlow. It's not as efficient in that regard, but it has a lower IR signature. It's good to point out in this example that the EcoFlow, your weapons and ship are going to be cooling down much quicker, even your IR signature is. You're just going to be more obvious while that cooler's in use, basically. More obvious to IR scanners while doing it. Although your overall amount of heat being reduced is significantly higher. So in with that in mind, the EcoFlow could be much better as a choice for people who don't care if they're obvious and have big weapons that they need to keep cool. They're going to smash in, they're going to brawl, they want to dogfight, they don't care if people see them coming. The heat safe 
our cooler here, gives you a much lower IR signature and may be better suited for stealthier pilots or pilots that don't need to keep their systems as cool. So you can have multiple coolers as well and you can mix and match them. The new item system has four sizes as I stated earlier. So instead of previously, for example, um, with power plants, you might have had a single size three power plant, but now you might have three light or three small ones. In the case of coolers, this allows you to have multiple coolers, basically, um, of different types if you wanted. So you can mix and match. And don't forget to, to look to see what works for you. You might be able to calculate your needs so that you have a really just perfect cooling profile. Uh, and that's kind of one of the things you want to do in Star Citizen, especially with the, the new item system. You want to look to see what you can min-max. You, you're looking at the stats, you're looking at how to calculate your needs accurately and then try and meet them as efficiently as possible. So if you want a stealthier operating mode, you could have, um, uh, you could set up with those uh, coolers that I mentioned earlier, the heat safe ones, uh, or you could um, set up with uh, a heat safe one and an eco flow one or something like that. You might be able to work out a good medium between them. There's lots of different coolers on the market effectively, and you can choose and mix and match them. In the future as well, I hope that you should be able to disable uh, coolers so you could turn on more coolers, uh, your ones that burn hotter for IR signature once you're actually in combat, whereas you're, when you're just running your ship, you might just want to have like your, your, uh, your heat safe ones there, that sort of stuff. These stats will change, but the tenants of this video should pretty much always stay the same now. Um, how coolers work, the importance of them, and the importance of stats, and how to kind of choose which ones you want. And as I said, there's a giant list of coolers. Um, you just have to really make sure that that cooler fits in the correct slot. So if you've got a light or size one slot, you're only gonna be able to fit a size one or light cooler at the moment. Anyway, guys, I hope that helps explain a bit more about coolers and how they're currently working in Star Citizen and how they should be working properly in the future as well. As more and more stuff comes in with the item system, the pipelines and importance of how these components all work together, become more and more important, and we get closer and closer to how the actual combat and actual systems will work together in Star Citizen. And also I can make videos like this. Um, as this new stuff comes out though, I will, I will make the videos more and more clear and I'll do videos explaining how they all to work together and that sort of jazz. Um, but anyway, I hope that was enjoyable or at least informative. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the verse.